Kishik Park, Chairman of Study Group 3. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give us a brief introduction to the principal activities of your study group? Yes, uh, the study group 3 of ITUT, which I'm in charge of currently, uh, its all main mandate is to develop some tariff and accounting principles in international telecommunications. Uh, for the more efficient use and the provision of those services. And in my study group, there are many uh, participants who have a lot of concern in their business because our tariff principles or accounting charging principles is closely related to the money making. So currently about from 60 countries in the world, we have normally more than 150 participants in our study group meeting. Normally we have meet twice to develop those uh, tariff and accounting principles as well as some other economic and policy related issues for making and developing some uh, better tariff and accounting principles which will be used in the world. And our study group mandate is a little bit broad than other technical study groups in ITUT because uh, our group is, I think, is a unique group to deal with uh, tariff and accounting principles uh, under UN agencies. It's a sole group to deal with those kind of some charging metals and tariff metals. In that uh, regard, we have specifically have four regional groups, that is, for African region and Asia and Oceanian region, Europe and the Mediterranean region, and lastly Latin America and Caribbean region. And one more thing I want to mention uh, regarding the study group three of ITUT is this study group uh, deals with a very important matter uh, for some developing countries as well as for underdeveloped, what we call DCCT, developing countries and countries with economies in transition. Because all together in the world, they should uh, develop uh, some uh, balanced tariff and accounting principles for the future communications, uh, some efficiency and the use of uh, all those uh, uh, good international telecommunication services. Thank you. And now, would you like to highlight some of the key achievements of Study Group 3? Mm, study Group 3, as I mentioned, uh, it deals with very sensitive and very important matter for the members of ITU. As I mentioned, all kinds of discussions occurred in Study Group 3 even that is a very minor discussions uh, or a very uh, small decision result may affect uh, on their business uh, situation. So all the kind of discussions were very important achieved by study group three, but uh, let me highlight for some uh, uh, very important decisions or working by study group 3. The first one is uh, regarding I, uh, IP telephony, what you call VOIP. Recently, many countries, they are introducing this kind of service of IP telephony. And for IP telephony, we developed uh, some uh, appendixes to D. Dot recommendation D.50. And we are still working very hard for facilitating the use of recommendation D.50 and also appendixes to that uh, recommendation uh, developed by our study group three. And second thing I want to emphasize here is some um, uh, modification of several recommendations because every day telecommunication services environment has uh, been changing from some fixed network uh, service provision to some uh, mobile uh, network uh, service provision. 
so we are doing uh, doing more uh, work on some uh, modification of our current recommendations which will serve for the changing environment of the mobile uh, service prov provision. That's the second thing. And also, there was a very important decision by study group 3. It was a uh, mobile termination rate, termination charge, or uh, we did extensive work for the mobile termination charging rate. And we just modified the recommendation DDAT 93 last year <coughs> to facilitate negotiation of some differential settlement rate according to the call termination on the fixed networks or on mobile networks. But I think all those are major achievements by study of three. Thank you. So what would you consider to be the hot topics or the future direction of your study group? It's a very difficult question to answer for me. <laughs> I think in study group three, firstly, uh, as I mentioned, all the tariff and accounting principles or charging principles should be uh, fair for developing countries as well as developed or underdeveloped countries. In traditional telecommunication services, normally developed countries, uh, they paid uh, a lot of uh, money to developing countries for their services. But these days, as service environment and technologies uh, changes, uh, I think developed countries, now they are getting some amount of money from underdeveloped countries. But as all we are aware of, developing countries, still they need a lot of money to invest for the establishment of networks to provide some new services. So first uh, thing we should tackle in study group three will be how to help the developing countries to promote their uh, service provision and also uh, their some balanced uh, communication environment for the world uh, uh, society. That will be a very important uh, thing to be done in study group 3. And another thing, today, most of the telecommunication related people, they are saying about NGN, Next Generation Networks. This NGN, also in study group 3, we should uh, some more work, very important work, uh, regarding on how to charge on NGN environment uh, telecommunication services. Traditionally, all the tariff and accounting principles mostly based on some communication time. Uh, but NGN charging system should be uh, very different from those uh, traditional principles. I think it mainly based on some other criteria such as quality of services or some special user requirements. Uh, in many other technical study groups in ITUT, they are studying some technical uh, requirement to secure interoperability of communications. But in this study group, study group three, specifically I think we need to develop appropriate uh, tariff and accounting principles uh, for the use of uh, new NGN services and technologies uh, without any problem. Thank you very much.